the official start to Midwest Gaming Classic 2023. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey. All right, so here we are, the uh, calm before the storm. It's the uh, Friday right now. Everyone's getting all set up and loading in, getting ready to go for an awesome Midwest Gaming Classic 2023. And I'm looking for the people that have the stuff for my workshop in three and a half hours. So that should be interesting. All right, so just to, uh, finished dry testing all of the kits. Everything is good to go. This is the drop-in replacement for my GBA uh, screen mod and uh, shell mod workshop. So that is gonna be awesome. We have that coming up here in about an hour and a half. Excellent. Oh, something cool to see in here at uh, Midwest. Very cool. All right, so the workshop went awesome yesterday and here is some footage of that. And open up your packs. We're not gonna use everything that is in them because we're not doing stuffing. I gotta say like earlier when I was doing a dry run, it, uh, it felt wrong not cleaning it and then putting it back into this <laughs> nasty shell. I was like, Ugh, it's not mine, I don't care. So you're gonna take that, you're gonna peel it off. It should be the same size as the back of this. No uh, you wanna stick it to the back of this. Try and line up your corners as best as possible. Uh, because what this is going to do is create an insulation layer so that um, the other chip uh, doesn't have metal on metal contact. And now we are back officially the first real day of the con. As you can see, this once very empty room is now jam-packed. And we are going around and checking out all the cool stuff. Always keeping an eye out for N64, Wii U, uh, imports, things like that. So we're going to see what all they have. Already finding the, some uh, nice little goodies here and there. Hi, John. Ah! All right, so walking around and you see amazing 3D printed things like a gigantic six foot tower that's 3D printed. This thing is awesome. And it's a dice tower. This is uh, right here for everyone, Giant Turtle Creations. And look at all of these amazing prints. Look at this stuff. So colorful. This is great. All right, just got a sweet deal on a couple more Wii U games that I needed on the list. What's up, Walking Dead and Penguins of Madagascar? Penguins of Madagascar. That's right. What are you two looking for? Stuff. Stuff? Nothing specific, really. Now that the wife's not here, how much are you actually going to spend? All of it. All of it. All it was on film. We got them. We got them, folks. some more Wii U. Ooh. I'd love to uh, see more Wii U games. Mm, let's take a look-see. All right, so uh, my buddy Thor just got a uh, wish list item for himself. What's that, buddy? A bar man too. Ooh, yeah, it is. And it took no peer pressure from us at all. No None. Pressure. Oh, a little bit. A li just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. How many years? About five, six years. That's a long time. So what's, yeah. what's the next quest? Ooh, uh, either EVO or, or uh, Chrono Trigger. Okay. Chrono Trigger. Oh, we can find you. Hey, can help with that. look what's right here. We have a mint condition in oh, box no, Chrono no, Trigger. No, no. If you look at it this way, it's only zero zero. It's only fifty-two dollars. Five-ish S and an upside down two. That's all it is. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right. Well, I found a couple more. The collection is getting bigger, and the amount left is getting smaller. We got Mystical Ninja Gomon and Monaco Grand Prix. Don't know if either are good, but they're in the collection now, and. I'm not positive, but I think I'm somewhere around a dozen left for the set. Oh, getting closer. So massive thank you to David over at the Timeless booth. That dude always hooks it up. What is that? All of Gen 1 and 2 import Game Boy? Hell yeah. We got red, blue, yellow, gold, and silver Pokemon. Very nice. Okay, so you come to MGC for uh, the conference, but you stay for the food. And apparently this food joint, Doc Smokehouse, always amazing, they have a freaking robot. Hang on, is it coming around the post? Here it comes. They have a robot here. I saw it, I got scared. Terminator was mentioned. I had the photo Yep, yeah, that's crazy. Riggs, did you see the robot? I did. That's crazy. 
also Game Dad is making bad decisions. Hi, Chris. When are, hi. When are we not making bad decisions? What bad decisions? Are you buy, You are buying the 64DD, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no, no. What, what are you buying? No. No, That's more than my mortgage, it. no. I, I, I wish I could. We, over, we overrule you. Yeah, you have to buy it. Yeah. It's better than a Jaguar. I mean, that's not saying much, though. Uh, I mean, that's true, but it so, also comes with ten games. Versus none. What do you? What do you? What are you making bad so decisions you see on? The really rare games right there that are really expensive. Yeah. So it's not the really expensive one. I mean, you're not <laughs> buying Sculptor's Cut. No. 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 He's, not, he's, uh, he's gonna buy the four thousand dollar one for me. Uh, yeah, definitely. That's what it is. It's an for resale Yoshi. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting the uh, second attack right there. Barman 64 second attack, baby. So 285, what are you going to try to talk down to? Um, No higher than 285. I see what you did there. Yeah. 270. 270? What about 265 and a high five? No, 270. 270? I get a fun case. I get a fun case, too. Yep. All right, is that a good decision because of the fun case? I'll pay you 285. <laughs> I will slap you right back. It's a bad decision. It's a bad decision. Not as but, bad as a Jaguar with no games. But I also don't like the Bomberman games, so... Well, that means it must be good. So there's the 200 re agreed on run. <laughs> I forgot to fun case. <laughs> Alright, so here at uh, Mike Nathan's booth, but don't worry, he's safe. There's a Gary there, too. Uh, and I've uh, made a bad decision on a really fun case right here. Uh, and it's just the case. It's Bomberman 64 Second Attack. It was only $3,000. No, that's a lie. Uh, but Bomberman 64 Second Attack, one of the heavy hitters for the collection. And I am now down to 14 games left for the full set. Full set, baby. Full set. Full now, set. he has three of the other ones. But I need to pay my mortgage this month, so unfortunately I can't get them. Stunt Racer, Super Bowling, Sculptor's Cut. Oh, we'll see if I have anything to drink later. All right, so we are here at this awesome place that does all kinds of different dice sets in all kinds of different materials. And we also have all kinds of different pins that are highly inappropriate and very funny. And what is that one? I think it's spiders. Spiders or something in there. Ew. But this one has ducks. I like ducks. There's also a chicken one. Uh, that's the chickens and ducks are delicious. That's very good. And then they have all kinds of sacks. Uh, you know, things for your dice. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, cool. Okay. I don't know how well you can see it in the video. Look at the eyeball is moving. That is so cool. That is awesome. And now here, coming to a, a soon close on uh, the official uh, last of the first day of Saturday. Oh, there's Vic. Uh, we're gonna get some t-shirts because these shirts are awesome. So we're gonna check those out. Yeah. And Saturday comes to a close. You find a lot of good stuff, Dor? Oh yeah, I found a lot of stuff. I got uh, a couple of bags full of goodies here. Got some stuff in the backpack. So uh, yeah, definitely found some good stuff on the first official day, not the preview day. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll be checking out all the extra stuff. There is so much stuff going on at MGC 2023 and it's awesome. Oh, and then tomorrow got a uh, YouTube panel. So that'll be fun too. And here we are day two, technically day three of MGC 2023. Uh, it is decidedly less busy today, but that's nice. You can get around a little easier. We'll uh, see if we can find any kind of deals or anything like that going on. I bought most of the stuff I wanted yesterday, but we're gonna see what else we can find today. I'm sure there's something lying around here somewhere. So let's take a look. And here is just some footage, kind of walking around the con there on uh, the final day. Technically the second day of the con, but I was third day I was there. Just looking around, seeing what are the kind of goodies I could find, seeing if there was anything else available that looked interesting. Just kind of giving you guys an idea of what it looked like walking around on the show floor. Much less people on the last day of the con than on the previous day. Obviously, most people go on the Saturday, but Sunday is what they call family day, so a lot more kids around, and I don't know, just a uh, more like chill vibe to the day. So that's always kind of cool. And plus, Sundays are the days where you can typically find some better deals especially as the con comes to a close later in the afternoon this guy had a bunch of really cool like 3d prints of game cards and cartridges things like that 
here is just a little bit more footage walking around and yeah it gives you kind of an idea if you want to be able to go to a con someday i mean this is kind of what they're all like it's pretty fun the man the myth oh what's up the legend how's it going what's buddy up, what's up, what's up? oh Master Christina as well. How's it going, man? <laughs> All right, I had to stop by Timeless again. David wasn't here. He was hiding from me. He was but hiding. Uh, picked up the only uh, one from... Uh, that is Gen 2, right? Crystal, yeah. yeah. Picked up the only Gen 2 I didn't find yesterday. Got uh, Mario Land 1, 2, and 3, and Donkey Kong Land 1, or Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Land. So very nice, more import pickups. It is lunchtime at the one, the only Oak Barrel, where they have a mac and cheese pizza. Uh, Hancock's ordering something different, but it also sounds amazingly delicious with spice all yeah. over it. Double pepperoni with jalapenos, extra sauce, and red pepper. That sounds like a spicy pizza, and I am down. But I'm also getting mac and cheese. What are you getting, buddy? I'm eating the Wisconsin cheesesteak pizza and the whiskey battered curds. Yum! I'm going to steal some of that. Welcome to the world of Nintendo. Oh, the old commercial. Oh, yeah. oh my god. I feel like I'm back in the Toys R Us R zone. That kiosk is awesome. I have a very similar plan to that one. Check it, Yoshi's Island, maybe. All right, it's windy outside. My hair's a mess, but what MGC 2023 is over. I thought I was done yesterday. I got a miter saw. I wasn't. He got, a, he got a miter saw. I got a miter saw at a gaming convention. They have everything here. It's amazing. It's Even amazing. Meredith had fun, so that's awesome. <laughs> she tried to get out of the camera and I wouldn't let her, but MGC 2023, awesome time and catch you guys later.